Hello, welcome to another tutorial by BTEC Enterprises. Today we're going to look at the uh, setup and creation of a Hello World program. The Hello World program is the initial start of a program uh, that typically um, a person beginning in learning uh, programming will use. Uh, today we'll do the setup for the Hello World um, initial program using NetBeans, as you see here, we got different versions, uh, 8.2, this one is 11.1, one, and this guy here is 11.3. Uh, so we're gonna use the 11.1, one. the 11.3 is the latest copy as of today. Um, and we'll use NetBeans as the um, tool, the development environment that we will write the program in. So typically, again, when you write a program, it's like you need a notepad or you need a WordPad or Word, uh, Microsoft Word or something like that. But here, for it, once you become um, familiar with programming, um, you'll want to use a IDE, which is a development environment, and it makes things a lot easier. So I'm starting up NetBeans 11.1, and we'll use this again as our environment that we write the programming code in, in Java. And so the Hello World program is just the initial building blocks of um, writing a program and it teaches you some of the syntax, it teaches you, teaches you the layout um, of the program and um, how to get output from the program. And it's just to make sure that you can get started get it compiled, which is packaging it up and running it. So that's what we're going to do. So as I start up NetBeans, here um, we have a, a program that was already done. So we're just going to collapse that. Um, and also with NetBeans, um, whatever the last program you're working on, uh, it'll typically display here. Uh, so what we're going to do um, to begin, we want to start a new project. And again, this is the NetBean way. This is um, Apache NetBeans 11.1. 11, 11 um, here, um, you want to um, create um, this application, this Java app is what you want. There are other options here, but we're not going to um, discuss those at this time. If you have these grayed out, go ahead and select it, and NetBeans will ask you, if this is your first time, to load those modules, because they may not be there, so it will load it for you. So I hit Next. So here I want to change the program name to Hello World. Okay. Um, and so right now the program is saying I already have a folder. You can go and select your um, your location for where you want to store your programs here. And it will store all of your programs in this location. Um, and so I have one called Tutorials. So mine will go there. Um, then we, we have it saying this already exists. Yep, so we'll just give it um, two. So you just add an extension on there and it will automatically fix that. And here we want to say finish. So it's going to build the structure, um, the files, the folders, everything you need uh, for the project. <clears throat> so here we have um, our initial building blocks. Um, a few things about the structure. Let's go over here and just open this up and this is the packages it created it with a lowercase h and a lowercase w so keep that in mind the there are standards and structures that you want to follow when writing programs again netbeans helps you to keep this um, these standards and then the actual program itself which is this guy so when we open this up this is what we get these are comments here um, so in Java slash asterisk uh, slash star with a closing slash star is considered a comment. So that's just for us to read. 
it does nothing, right? It's just there for us to understand the program and what's going on. Um, so this information will not um, be interpreted by the program. Um, same thing here, slash star star slash star. This will not be interpreted, just again information. And these slashes will not be interpreted. So um, what we want to know here is that this is the basic program. And this is the uh, start of it, a class which holds the program. In this case, it's Hello World, but whatever our programming would be, let's say House Groceries, that will be the name. Um, then uh, again in blue here, what we have is the actual main body of the program. This is this entry point, this starting point of any Java program is always this standard, void mainstream. Um, the, the arguments, you can change that to be whatever you want. You know, it can be test, whatever. Uh, but you, you must have this starting main um, as part of it. So now, this is the just the, I mean, the tip basic of the program. We haven't written anything. NetBeans has created this, this shell structure for us. And what we want to do is just hit play here, which will compile, which is this guy, and then clean. So let's do a compile for just um, uh, good habits. So the compile will take the information you see on your screen, wrap it and bundle it up into computer-like um, um, output, and then um, package it, package all of this up and set it out for us into this file that you see here in a distribution, what is called a distribution folder, uh, hello world.jar. We're not going to do anything with that just now. So here we want to just hit play, which runs the program. Okay, so notice it down here in the output, and if you don't have output, if you don't have this, go here to Windows, go to output, and then you get this. So the program does absolutely nothing but runs. That's good that it did run. If there were problems, you would get an error. It will not say successful, okay? So what we want to do to actually write uh, information into the program, which would be the Hello World demonstration, we want to start with system. In Java, this means you're going to talk, use system uh, components. And we're going to use this out to say we want to write output and we want to print line. And it will prompt you, as you saw there, um, for um, what you want to do. So let's just go back again. Let's do out dot and see you got a number of print options down here. So I'm going to start typing print and I know I want a print string. Okay. So we're going to do that, double click it, and it fills it in for you. Now we want quotes to say we, this is going to be an actual word that we print. Hello world. And you hit enter. And the system, NetBeans, that it'll take you to the end. And it puts the semicolon. If you do not have the semicolon there, notice you get this red um, asterisk here. Um, exclamation saying that it's expecting that so it kind of helps you out to tell you what's wrong so let's go and put that back now we have a system output printing hello world so this is an actual program that actually does something compile okay so that's the hello world again compile now let's run this and now you see hello world. Before we did not get that. So let's add exclamation point, exclamation point. And then we want to add just, um, let's do a copy. And we're going to paste and paste. So now we have three lines of hello world, hello world, hello world. And each one ends with a semicolon. So we're going to compile that again. Then we're going to run this. There you go. 
hello world with an exclamation point. Hello world, hello world. So this is your first program. Congratulations. Um, it's simple when you're using a tool. Otherwise, you will have to do a number of other things uh, to get this to work like we have. We will cover another demonstration using uh, command lines, which is like a, a window DOS screen and maybe even on a Linux platform. So, um, but to begin, I recommend using something like a NetBeans because it makes it a whole lot simpler to get the structure and get it going. We will build on this. We will get um, a prompt and uh, let you input data. Right now, you're not inputting. It is just um, the program is only outputting information that you uh, typed in. So we will look at um, creating an input box letting you type in some information and then writing that out to the screen. So um, jump to our next tutorial and look down uh, below for the link. If you don't have NetBeans, um, there's a link down below um, in the description where you can go and download that, okay? And be sure to subscribe, okay, for the following videos on uh, getting a display, getting a frame. We're going to do charts and graphs. Um, we're going to do a lot with NetBeans in Java. Thank you and have a good day.